Welcome to Coding Bat video number five. My name is Nick Parlante, and in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the mod operator and show some example code. The um, mod operator, or the long name of it, is the modulus operator, uh, is in addition to the regular addition and subtraction operators that you know. Um, it's written this way. Uh, pretty much all computer languages, you know, Java, or JavaScript, or Python, they all use the percent sign. So um, if I want to compute 23 mod 10, it's always going to be written this way. So I'll show kind of how it works with a little uh, number line drawing here. So to compute 23 mod 10, one way to think about it is I'm going to draw a number line here. So there's 0, and here's 23 over here. And so to compute 23 mod 10, what I want to do is just sort of mark off all the 10s starting at 0. So there's start 0, and there's 10. And the next one I get to is 20, which is there. And I kind of run out of room. There's, uh, you know, 23 is sooner than 10. So the mod just concerns this last little bit here. In this case, just 3. Um, and so that's the mod. That's the modulus. 23 mod 10 is 3. Uh, another way of thinking about it is that, well, you can start with 23 and just keep subtracting 10 until you can't anymore. And what do you have left? Whatever you have left over, that's the mod. That works out to the, uh, the same thing. Um, so another uh, feature of mod that comes up a lot in computer code is um, this idea of dividing evenly. So if, um, so my example here is uh, 30 mod 10. 30 mod 10 comes out to zero. Um, and what that means really is that 10 goes into 30 evenly, right? There's nothing left. Um, or in your code, maybe you'll have this question, you'll get to some point where like, oh, is n a multiple of five? Um, and the way you would write code for that is you would compute n mod 5, so that's going to be the modulus, and then just check if that's 0 or not. If it's 0, then it means it divides evenly. Um, so other features of mod, um, just the way it works out, if you mod by n, you'll always get a number in the range 0 to n minus 1, inclusive. So if I mod by 10, I'm going to get a number uh, 0 through 9, or if I mod by 100, I'll get 0 through 99, or whatever. Um, don't mod by zero. It's an error, just like dividing by zero is an error. It just uh, doesn't make sense. Um, and more subtly, don't use negative numbers with mod. There is a, um, a good mathematical definition of mod with negative numbers, but computer languages are sort of all over the place uh, with how, having different oddball interpretations. And so you'll try, your, uh, it's just not reliable to try and write code depending on that. So I recommend that you just multiply by minus one if you think you might have a negative number and just um, so you can write the code reliably on your own. All right, so let me try a couple of problems here. I'll start with this uh, easy one. Uh, return true if the given non-negative number is a multiple of 3 or a multiple of 5. So I'll just deal with the, th the 3 first. So to say that n is a multiple of 3, I would compute n mod 3 and then just check if that's 0. So I'll say if that happens, I'll return true. I'm going to write this kind of a, the long way first, and then I'll fix it. So let's just try that. Okay, well, um, so that's detecting, you know, 3 and 15, it's doing all these cases. So that seems to be working. Um, what it's missing is the, the multiples of 5. So I just haven't written the code for that case yet. So that's just the use of an or. I'll say um, n mod 5 is 0. So if it's a multiple of 3 or it's a multiple of 5, then return true. Otherwise, return false. All right, that works. Um, now, I'm going to do a very uh, sort of coding bat shortening of this. I'm going to highlight the test. So basically what I'm doing here is, well, if this test is true, I return true. And if this test is false, I return false. So really, the test is a Boolean, and it, it just is the value I wanted. So I don't need this if statement at all. I can just take the test and just return it directly. Let's try that. Yeah, that works. So that's the uh, shorter way to do it. I should say that way with the if then else, but the, uh, the if, that's OK too. But um, I, I slightly prefer the shorter way. All right, I'm going to try a slightly more uh, complicated problem here. Return true if the given non-negative number is 1 or 2 more than a multiple of 20. So, um, so for example, 41 is 1 more than a multiple of 20. Um, so the way to think about that is I'll compute n mod 20. And so if n is 1 more than a multiple of 20, then I would expect this modulus to be 1, like 41 or 61 or 81. Um, so let's just try that. Right, so that works for a lot of cases. Um, so I'm missing 22, 62, 
42. So you see, I'm, I'm missing the twos. I'm getting the ones, like 21 and 31. Um, oops, <laughs> 31 is <it's> false, <laughs> which I'm doing correctly. Um, so to catch the twos, I'll say if n mod 20 is two. So that's one more than a multiple of, oops. That's one more than multiple of 20. That's two more than multiple of 20. Alrighty, that's all of them. That's correct. Um, so there's some more problems here to try that uh, play around with basic ideas of mod. And when, you, when you're done with that, there's this problem. I don't know if it's famous, but it's, it's a favorite problem of mine, the make bricks problem. Um, and this uh, mod is central for solving that problem. Uh, so you can check that one out. And then I'm working on uh, writing just a, a separate little document just about the make bricks problem. All right, keep on practicing.